x plus y equal to 1, x to the 4 plus y to the 4 is 4, x and y are real numbers, we want to find x and y. If we apply this identity and raise it to the power of 2, it will be x squared plus 2xy plus y squared equal to 1. We know x plus y is 1, we call xy the product equal to p. So from here, x squared plus y squared plus 2xy will be 2p equal to 1. So if we take 2p to right hand side, x squared plus y squared equal to 1 minus 2p. We want to reach x to the 4 plus y to the 4. So we raise both sides again to the power of 2. So x squared plus y squared all squared equal to 1 minus 2p. If we use this, it will be x to the 4 plus 2x squared y squared plus y to the 4 equal to 1 plus 2 times 1 times negative 2p negative 4p plus 2, 2p squared or negative 2p squared which will be 4p squared. So x to the 4 plus y to the 4 here is 4 plus 2xy squared, xy squared will be, if we raise the power of 2, it will be p squared, so 4 plus 2p squared, equal to 1 minus 4p, plus 4p squared. If we take all things to right hand side, 0 will be 4p squared minus 2p squared will be 2p squared minus 4p, 1 minus 4, negative 3. Now, here we want to calculate p equal to what? We use quadratic formula here. Instead of x here, we have p. a is 2. p e is negative 4. The coefficient here and c is negative 3. So, if we want to find p, Negative b will be 4 plus minus negative 4 squared, 16 minus 4 times a times c, which is 4 times 2, 8 times 3, 24, all over 2a, which is 4. So it will be 4 plus minus square root of 40 over 4. If we divide by 2, 2 plus minus inside square root, you should divide by 4 will be 10 over 2. So we have two cases. Case 1. We know x plus y is 1, but product, which is xy. In case 1, we consider positive sign 2 plus root 10 over 2. And in case 2, x plus y is 1, and xy equal to 2 minus root 10 over 2. So if you replace here y in both of them equal 1 minus x, if you replace x times 1 minus x equal to 2 plus root 10 over 2. So here it's what x minus x squared. If you take all things to the right hand side, x squared minus x plus 2 plus root 10 over 2. It is this, this one. If we do the same thing, instead of y, we replace with 1 minus x. It will be negative x squared. If we take the right hand side, x squared minus x plus 2 minus root 10 over 2. Now we want to calculate each of them. We call this one square root uh, discriminant b squared minus 4ac because x is a real number in the beginning of the video, d should be at least 0. So here, d is negative 1 squared, b squared minus 4 times 1 times 2 plus root 10 over 2, which is 1 minus 2, 2, 2, negative 2, negative 4, negative 2 root 10, which will be negative 3 minus 2 root 10 which is less than 0, so here it's impossible. If we consider this one, discriminant will be negative 1 squared minus 4 
times A times C to this 2, negative 1 squared will be 1. Negative 2 times 2, negative 4, negative 2 times this plus 2 root 10. So it will be negative 3 plus 2 root 10. So if you want to find x, use this formula negative b, negative negative 1 plus 1 plus minus square root of discriminant which is negative 3 plus 2 root 10 all over. 2a, which is here 2. So x is 1 plus minus this. So we can say we have two answers in first part. You consider 1 plus square root of this over 2. And so y, x plus y is 1. Similarly, you can say it's negative sign. Plus 2 root 10 all over 2. Or the second answer. X equal to 1 minus negative 3 plus 2 root 10 all over 2. And Y equal to 1 plus negative 3 plus 2 root 10 over 2. So we have two answers here. Please don't forget to subscribe. Thumbs up and turn on the bell. Thank you.